who are you? Hi, my name is Brandon Pack Anderson, and uh, I go by Anderson Pack, and I'm a singer, writer, song uh, performer, drummer, uh, producer, lover, friend. Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! But right off the bat, Anderson Pack, I have a gift for you. And we have a black flag. Yeah. Their, their debut seven inch. Yes, dude. Whoa, the debut. Wow, nervous breakdown. Because you rep Black Flag, don't you, on French TV. I love Black Flag. And uh, yeah, I, I, it was important for me to wear that shirt on, on French TV, man. Yeah, at the canal. And you are Anderson Pack. But at one time, you were known as DJ... <laughs> Styles? DJ Styles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What can you say about DJ Styles? He was a DJ that, man, I was on the turntables, on the Staten turntables, me and my boy, uh, DJ Technique, my, my, my good friend, man. We used, to, we used to DJ a lot. With MIDI disc. <laughs> yeah. I would put it to MIDI disc, yeah. Yep. Now, you are Anderson Pack. But at one time, you were called a Bubba. <laughs> I'm still called Bubba. Yeah, they, my family calls me Bubba. In high school? Yeah. Yep. What can you tell the people about this representation of Bubba right here? Don't do this to me, bro. Where is Bubba? Bubba's right here. Um... You know, I believe I'm rocking the polo, long sleeve. Um, these are my two best friends in high school, Ulysses and Benji. He was also a really huge punk rock fan, hardcore fan, and, and uh, got me hit to a lot of punk rock and, and just the history of it all. But yeah, this is Bubba. <laughs> now, Bubba was cool, though. Prom King? Bubba was cool. I got wearing a form of Prom King, and uh, yeah, I was voted, you know, a few things, you know. Uh, but yeah, I was uh, I was like a pretty popular kid in high school. And you are Anderson Pack, and I am Nardwar the Human Serviet. 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 Now Nardcore, Nardcore yes. Oxnard. What can you tell people about Nardcore? Nardwar the Human Serviet. Nardcore. Nardcore is a huge punk rock scene in Oxnard. Uh, and Oxnard is, yeah, what they're getting at with that Nardcore. And it's a huge scene in Oxnard. And they had a lot of shows out there. I think, like, what is this one? I think Dr. No is one of one of the big ones. You also love back patches. I, back patches? I do. And in fact, I have a gift for you. And you mentioned them earlier. A Dr. No back patch. Uh, dude. Because they are the band, pretty much from Oxnard, aren't they? Of the punk variety. Yeah, they're like they they're the, like the face of the Nardcore scene. Would you would you say? And you have worn Apaches on your back, right? I have man, I have um I, my one of my favorites is the Curtis Mayfield one, and now this is probably going up there, bro. Thank you. Well, we have another patch for you from Nardcore Isms, ill repute. Yo. Sick, bro. Ill repute. My boy Benji is probably flipping out right now if he's watching this. Yeah, he loved them. How much were you into punk? Like, you were pretty into punk. Who got you into punk? My boy Benji, who's in this picture, I was living on his couch in his garage, and uh, I didn't know anything about punk rock at the time, and he was like, you should come to a show. And uh, I went to one of his shows. He was in a band. I forget his band, and but I love the energy, man. That was the first thing I loved about it. It was like that they can get around in, in the atmosphere, and everybody is doing different things according to the music, and, and like mosh pits and circle pits and all these different dances, and nobody's getting hurt. And it was like just a lot of camaraderie and a good energy, and it kind of reminded me of church, like growing up in Baptist church, just like the energy, like how how intense it was, and like they just had such a strong scene and didn't care about anything else you know it was really cool now also from Oxnard a gift for you oh this is Quasimodo bro Mad Lib dude the V Conductor legend thank you man this is awesome I have no good Mad Lib Quasimodo shirts this is sick Mad Lib is the man the face like this is the dude of Oxnard you know what I'm saying like He's he's a legend. I mean, ask Kanye West himself. Like that's the dude, man. If you if you're into hip hop, if you're into Jay Dilla, Malib, Quasimodo, Stones Throw Records, and yeah, man, this is awesome. 
Yeah, legendary. Well, not only is Madlib from Oxnard, but his brother. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. You still owe me some beats, bro. He's supposed to send me some beats. Still hasn't sent them, but it's okay because I got some vinyl from you thanks to you. Thank you, Uncle Willie, for naming you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You named me? <laughs> you loved farting those Yo. Cheetos. <laughs> Breezy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. That's or was that your brother in law? That's my brother in law. What is the genesis of Breezy Lovejoy? Are Cheetos involved? Yeah, uh, yeah. I used to tell people it was because I was Aquarius, but it's really because of uh, I used to fart a lot, man. Yeah, we eat Cheeto, Cheetos, and I was, you know, as you can see, I was a big guy, and he called me Breezy because my farts would come through and just it'd be like a gust of wind. And uh, I kept that name Breezy, and then I added Lovejoy when I started making, like, writing music. I thought it was, like, kind of, like, smooth and stuff, so. How do you know Dr. Dre likes something? He's like, he, 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 starts, he starts bobbing, you know what I'm saying? He gives you one of these. He's like, it's gangster, it's gangster. He give you, like, a little thumbs up. <laughs> Did he see anything about the early Dr. Dre, like, the real early Dr. Dre productions? Um, did he say anything about it? He told me a few stories. I mean, he just told me he was a DJ as well, and uh, he he actually he brought up uh, one of the in one of the NWA records. I forget what the machine was that he used, but uh, you know the world class wrecking crew. He talked to me about that. And yeah, that's what I was curious about. The world class wrecking crew. Uh, what can you tell about the world class wrecking crew? What did he tell you? This is uh. Dr. Dre's uh, first group before NWA, um, uh, where he DJed and he he rocked a lot of cool elaborate uh, outfits, and uh, they were really cool, man. They they did a uh, he he has this famous uh, part where he's uh, scratching a it's time it's time and uh, yeah this is it he used to wear the doctor outfit and everything and this I'm, he's gonna be pretty hyped to see this juice. So does he talk about it much? Are these records on the wall? No, he doesn't, man. He, you know, he doesn't really like to get into the past too much, man. He actually told me one time, he was like, I'm not, I'm not too proud of that or whatever, but I think it's pretty cool, man, you know, to have such a like elaborate like history and there's a lot of different stuff, man. Because he does all sorts of stuff. For instance, did he say anything about Dre Day? Back to Dre Day. Oh, yes. Wow. This is the single like, right thought. Because you're spending a lot of time in the studio with him. Like, is he kicking back the classic Death Row stories? Dude, he, he did tell me a few classic Death Row stories. I used to love, this is one of the ones I used to recite when, for, when I was in show and tell, but he did tell me a couple classic Death Row stories about when he went in the studio and they were like fighting pit bulls in the studio. And they were, uh, one time they stripped the dude down to his, you know, socks and was shooting at his feet. And uh, he actually told me that when he had the chronic album they like nobody liked it like none of the labels liked it and <laughs> he couldn't get a deal and then uh he went to his house and nate dog was there cooking spaghetti and uh he was like yo nobody wants this record and he's like nate dog was like yo this is trust me this record's gonna be like it's gonna you gonna make history with this and just trust me and then a few a few days later he met jimmy Iveen. but Trey day dude this is awesome bro anderson pack and thank you, Anderson Pack Bang Bus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. To Bang Bus. Damn. You're a beast. Anything you'd like to say to the people out there? Yes, I actually have a gift for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. This is incredible. What's the significance of this album? The crap nerd war, the human serviette. And what song was the, it? Human, f oh my goodness. And yeah, it even has a little color vinyl. Oh, this is amazing. Is the cramps. Yeah. I do not have the greatest hits. Well, that's awesome. The, yeah, because there is Nardwar, which is a dumb, stupid name. Right. Human, after the cramps, human fly. Right. And serviette, because in the United States right. of America, they don't have serviette. serviette. They have napkins. What are your memories of the cramps? Did you see them live? I haven't seen them live. Um, you know, I, I, I'm just getting into the cramps, actually. Lux, you know, God rest his soul, right? He died in, uh, in Poison Ivy. I just know that they had a lot of different band changes and stuff. And um, actually, I'm, I would like to hear this record, man. Uh, we, got, we should listen to this, man. 
Yeah. And thank you for the juice as well and the record okay. because not only records and vinyl, which I love, yeah. juice too. Juice, bro. Got some hot some cold lemonade for you, bro. Thank you so much. And why should people care about Anderson Pack? Why should people care? Uh, cause if you care about yourself, then you should care about me. You know, I'm a free spirit. I'm spreading love. I got good music, soul music. You know, records, tapes, CDs. Good smile. You know what I'm saying? Good music, bro. You know. So you know, if you care about yourself, you want to get you know better quality for your life, then you know <laughs> you should you should get into me. Yeah. Oh, pause. Yeah, you should get into my music. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks so much, Anderson Pack. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do loo do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah.